Honorable Chief Guest, the Headmaster, Deputy Headmistress, parents, invited guests, and my fellow students, a very good morning to you all. I stand before you today feeling honored, proud, and grateful that you've all gathered here today to bid us farewell. I was at a loss of words when trying to come up and write a speech for this special day, as it felt so surreal that we reached the end of our journey. It seemed like just yesterday, when we all walked into the school wearing our white and blue uniforms, embarking on a two-year adventure, speculating, analyzing, and overcoming the obstacles presented before us. Yes, it's been two years. We made it. These two years were nothing less than an emotional roller coaster. You eventually realize the headmaster was not wrong. A level sim chezo to mepambana koeli koeli. We have experienced many ups and downs. However, we have worked so hard, and finally, we've reached the end of our academic career here at Shaban Robert Secondary School. And we're now stepping into a new chapter of our prosperous future. I was overwhelmed upon the realization when completing my studies here. This batch has got to be the most chaotic batch due to the diversity in personalities. Let me tell you why. Kicking off with 6 PCB CBG, it's nothing less than a reality show like Keeping Up with the Kardashians or something similar to Young Famous African. There is an endless supply of hard work, ambition, and entertainment in this class. Coming to the 6 PCM PGM class, I become speechless in describing this class. Their silence is like that of an examination room. With everyone dived deep into their books at 7 a.m., I say to myself, God, give me this energy too. Moving on to 6 HGL HKL, these are individuals who I like to call the life of the party with their unique sense of humor. You're never bored around them. Then there's 6 Eka EGM. This is the most joyful class I've ever seen. They're always so supportive of each other and they stand united like a family. Despite being in a class with so many different people and different mindsets, we've evolved in helping each other, in growing upward and moving forward. We have helped each other selflessly. We've made so many friends, and with that comes a lot of elegant memories. Friends who eventually become family. After all, we've been in the school for long enough to call this our second home. It is quite difficult investing hours and hours putting your mind into studying the whole A-level syllabus for an exam, not longer than three hours. It seems rather unfair, but I advise students to not let their work be defined by the results to come. I want them to see beyond the horizon and know that their success is inevitable in the foreseeable future and in the careers and opportunities they venture into. To my fellow juniors, on behalf of my fellow colleagues, I can tell you that there are days when you feel quite stressed, demotivated after studying questions that you think would appear in the final examinations. You'd feel lost and too concerned, burning out and extinguishing the fire in you, as well as the motivation to study for yet another exam the very next day. It's very intense and the stakes are very high. However, I cannot express the joy seeing how this batch has fought through it like warriors and copped up with new concepts being taught by the teachers every day and retaining that information for not one, but three subjects. It does sound overwhelming, but I advise you to get adequate support from the teachers as they sharpen your minds like a blade, ready to slice through any challenge coming your way. We always uphold our gratitude for them and appreciate the way they've shaped us as the individuals we've all become today. We are forever grateful for the education and knowledge provided by our teachers. They are, they are the core foundation of what we have become today. From surviving Mr. Sililo's full speed lectures to getting into the dark side of politics with Mr. Msechu, from Mr. Joannes's mind blowing lectures to almost getting burnt by asses in the chemistry labs, from taking economics to cracking business account questions by Mr. Mehta and listening to Mr. Chimbaga's favorite stories from Korea. Our teachers were nothing less than our parents, especially our class teachers. They were our counselors, and words are not enough to thank these teachers. 
Very soon, we'll all be parting ways. Everyone headed to a different lifestyle. Some will fly abroad. Some might be continuing their studies here or move to different cities. We'll be stepping into a different world now that is nothing like the nourishment and care our school has provided us. Chav and Robert has given us the best teachers and the best facilities. Most importantly, we have such an amazing headmaster who has always listened to us and helped us whenever we needed him. We are so thankful for everything he's provided. Thank you, Mr. Ramji, for always being there for us and motivating us like we're your little angels. I wish all my classmates best of luck for what the future holds. I hope we all succeed, and if you ever see one another walking down the street, saying hello will not hurt anyone. Now, let's sit back and see who's the first one to get married. <laughs> With that, I'd like to end my speech, and one last time, I'd like to thank all our teachers and parents for their utter support and good wishes. We will surely make you proud. This is Form 6, Class of 2022, signing off. Thank you.